And I thought I'd give you a look at all of the crazy things that go on on the Great Lakes weather-wise on a day like today. Several things to pick out. First, I want you to take a look at this on Lake Michigan. Earlier in the day, look at this dominant one band of lake effect snow on a north wind go all the way down into Indiana. Be real small in width, maybe 5, 10, 20 miles wide, but carry all the way down into Indiana. Second thing is look at over here in Lake Huron. Look at the long fetch and the band that develops here. Carries all the way across Lake Erie into northern parts of Pennsylvania. Now Lake Erie is frozen. You can see all the white there. So it's not helping this band increase in intensity, but nonetheless it carries it quite a ways. Lake Superior. We can see three things here on Lake Superior. First, the lake effect bands on Lake Superior, look at how they actually help this band on Lake Michigan. So a lot of us on the western side of Michigan think, well, we're getting lake effect off of Lake Michigan. But a lot of times, these bands of lake effect snow prime the atmosphere and help the bands on Lake Michigan be a lot stronger and heavier than they would. Second thing you can see, look at the ice forming up here. The lake effect bands, they don't form until it gets over open water. See how the edge right here where the lake effect bands are? They don't form over the ice. you got to have the open water so you can see that. Also, the third thing is, notice out here, when the winds switch and these clouds start to come out of a different direction, the lake effect bands start to shift and break down. So that's a sign that warmer air is moving in aloft. It's ahead of the next Alberta Clipper, which will bring us brutally cold weather. And then finally out here, one of the most interesting things I find on the lake. Look at this little whirling vortex that develops on the eastern part of Lake Ontario and moves on shore. That's what we call a lake-induced mesoscale vortex. Lake-induced, caused by the lake, mesoscale, pretty small scale, and a vortex, a whirling storm system. So essentially, a disturbance hits the warm water, forms a mini low pressure system and then moves on shore and enhances the snowfall. So right now there's a lot going on on the Great Lakes and that's one of the things I love about these Arctic days where you can see just how influential the Great Lakes are on our weather.